back to the online class in this video we are going to understand a very funny lesson how the first letter was written this lesson is about a family who is a neolithic family means neolithic age is letter stone age means after the after the discovery of stones as utensils and tools these people used stones or bones or teeth as their tools now here one activity is given on this page you can see in the screen uh, warming up list the materials that man has used for the following purposes in the different ages so these are the purposes weapons fuel utensils food and clothes which things man has used that we have to fill up here this activity you can uh, complete with the help of internet you can collect the information related to the centuries first century ce they are telling they are from modern age neolithic age in neolithic age stone bones animal teeth these were the weapons thereafter what were weapons in the first century that you have to find out and in modern age you can see the weapons as a knife as a axe such weapons are used here in modern age so these things you can fill up this activity is not compulsory you can do it for your information from the internet now uh, this activity you can do at home write your name in bold capitals bold capital letters now within 3 minutes try to make as many words as you can using the letters in your name suppose your name any name is there akshay in this akshay name as many letters are given from those letters you have to make different words how many words you can make that you have to see and this activity you can do within 3 minutes this is for your sake only this you don't need to write into the notebook now come to the lesson we will understand the lesson uh, on page 73 how the first letter was written now once upon a most early time was a neolithic man and he lived cavely in a cave a neolithic man was there most early time means it is a primitive time or very old time and neolithic man means a man who belong to the age in which stones were used as tools and utensils he lived cavely cavely means happily or nicely in a cave and he wore very few clothes he didn't have proper clothes to wear as you know you might have seen in televisions or in history books or in cartoons or some other sources that these old age people didn't have clothes neither they have factories nor they have any tailors to see to make their clothes and this is why they use skins of animals or leaves of trees to wrap around their body and he couldn't read and he couldn't write and he didn't want to he was not able to read not able to write or he didn't want to do it also this line tells that there was no idea about reading and writing actually neolithic age discovery itself was not there of the letters or words or pages or writing and except when he was hungry he was quite happy only when he was hungry that time he was sad otherwise all the time he was happy he had no tension no bank accounts no loans no any people to ask him about money or his house or any taxes no police was there no courts were there and no thieves were there this is why no tension he had they didn't have any uh, stuff accumulated at their house saturated collected at their house no valuable things and this is how they had no tensions no worries so always they were happy his name was tegumai bobsulai and that means man who does not put his foot forward in a hurry 
this tagumai babsulai name means what man who does not put his foot forward in a hurry his foot forward in a hurry he never puts means what he is a wise person person of understanding and this is why he never takes any decision taking foot foot forward putting foot forward represents taking decision or going ahead and he never does any decision in hurry or in haste but we o best beloved will call him tagumai for short o best beloved writer is using here because so many children are sitting in front of the writer the writer of this story is rudyard kipling who is a very famous writer he wrote so many stories for children such stories which are very comical means which are very funny which please to the children and children liked rudyard kipling very much so he is telling here oh best beloved means children who are loved very much to him will call him tegumai for short and his wife's name was teshumai tevendro and that means lady who asks a uh, very many questions a lady who asks very many means so many questions that lady asks here many is the adjective of quantity questions is a noun and very is defining to many so very is the adverb here but we o oh best beloved will call her teshumai for short and his little girl daughter's name was tafimai metalumai see these these names are very different these names we have never heard in our ages and that means small person without any manners who ought to be spanked now small children are small persons only so we here small person without any manners means that child taffy my metal my doesn't have manners writer wants to tell and he wants to tell who ought to be spanked spanked means what to beat small children with open hand to hit small children with open hand we beat small children with open hand to make them leave their bad habits sometimes they demand bad things or which they should not demand uh, or they and do the insistence on one thing to do they want to do the thing even if parents tell them don't do don't do and in this case parents beat them and that means the spanking or spanked but i am going to call her taffy so taffy is the short name of that girl child and she was tegumai bobsulai's best beloved she was tegumai bobsulai's best beloved means here tegumai bobsulai is the father of that girl and best beloved means father used to love her very much and her own mummy is best beloved now mummies are own only then also writer is writing here it for these language will feel nearest to the small children mummy is best beloved means mummy also used to love her very much and she was not spanked half as much as was good for her means mummy and father they did not beat her means spanked her little bit also even if it was good for her because if we beat small children means if small children demand unnecessary things that time we beat them so that they will leave their this bad habit or demands but here her father or mother they never beat her and they were all three very happy now attend the attend and listen one day tegumai babsulai went down through the beaver swamp to the wagai river to spear carfish for dinner here tegumai babsulai means father went down down side somewhere uh, where a water body a river is there its name is wagai to spear to spear means what spear is a kind of uh, object which is used for fishing this is a spear and it has a pointed pointed uh, shoot its starting point is sharp and pointed for doing the fishing and here 
what is happening and taffy went to taffy also went with father for fishing means to, uh, small children are very much interested in the work of big people so she went uh, with the interest with her father to see what he does tegumai's spear was made of wood with shark's teeth at the end at the end like this you can see shark's teeth is there here uh, at the end and this is used uh, this sharp point is used for fishing the fishes this is how he used the spear and spear was he had carried the spear to fish that carp fish for hunting the carp fish carp fish is a big type of fish for their dinner and taffy went to take my spear was made of wood with shark's teeth it was made of wood means its handle was made up from the wood and before he had caught any fish at all he accidentally broke it clean across by jabbing it down too hard clean across means this way in two two pieces so here he jabbed jabbing means what tucking in the ground tucking something inserting something in the ground with force so he jabbed it down he thought that he will hunt the fish he will kill the fish but he could not Uh, insert that uh, spear into the fish the fish skipped and the spear jabbed into the river bed and this is why it got broken too hard on the bottom of the river they were miles and miles from home and tegumai had forgotten to bring any extra spears so he had extra spears also but they were at home means in the cave here is a pretty kettle of fish a pretty kettle of fish this means what a pretty kettle of fish this is a saying and uh, uh, this means a problem a pretty kettle of fish said tegumai it will take me half the day to mend this mend to mend means to repair to repair this means to repair that spear there is your big black spear at home said taffy now taffy who never keeps quiet she spoke now there is your big black spear at home means in the cave home is in the in the cave let me run back to the cave and ask mummy to give it me now taffy is telling taffy is very interested to help her father she is telling to let her run back to the cave and ask mummy to give it to her so father can do the fishing it's too far for your little fat legs said tegumai father said that it's too far far away and the legs of taffy were very little and fat means fat uh, flesh was there uh, in her legs so very cute legs she had fat legs big legs besides you might fall into the beaver swamp and be drowned she will fall into the beaver swamp swamp beaver swamps means uh, these are the uh, the areas in which mud is saturated and it is a wet mud so what happens if any animal or any person is caught caught in the swamp swamp means a marshy land marshy land means soil and water are mixed and this is how a mud mud is created and the mud is dangerous for animals and people because if anyone is caught in the mud that swamp it is very difficult for him or her to come out from that swamp it is deep also and this beaver beaver are beavers are the animals Uh, looking like something similar to uh, mongoose and be drowned we must make the best of a bad job best of a bad job means here problems are there bad works are there but out of them we must do best 
This thing father is telling to Taffy. He sat down and took out a little leather mendy bag. A little leather mendy bag. Mendy bag means what? To mend means to repair. And mendy bag is a bag in which the tools or the stuff which is helpful for repairing something is there. Full of reindeer sinews and strips of leather. Reindeer is an animal and sinews is a long muscle which is uh, uh, which you uh, which joins the bones of legs uh, from uh, from the joint of waist up to the heel and strips of leather so leather strips are also there and lumps of bees wax lump means a heap of something or a or a thick a piece of something lumps of bees wax wax you know the wax which is used as um, a in, in candles such type of bees wax is there from bees uh, uh, waste product of um, honey the wax was prepared so bees wax he had collected and resin resin is also a sticky substance and began to mend the spear this is how with the help of these things he started to repair the spear. After this, Taffy sat down too with her toes in the water and her chin in her hand and thought very hard. She sat down with her toes, toes means the fingers of legs in the water. She was sitting to the bank of the water means any stone or something, some platform was there on which she was sitting. But her legs were in the water and in and her chin in her hand means like this she was sitting and she was thinking deeply means what to do now a problem is there then she said I say daddy it's an awful nuisance that you and I don't know how to write isn't it now she uh, an idea came to came into her mind that she is telling to her father it is an awful nuisance. Awful nuisance means what? Awful means a surprising and nuisance means a problem that you and I don't know how to write. Isn't it? If we did, we could send a message for the news pair. Now she is thinking that if we could write, we would have sent a message to mummy to bring the spear, a new spear. Just then, a stranger man came along the river. Now a man, a stranger man comes there. He is very different looking but he belonged to a far tribe. A far tribe, a tribe which, uh, uh, which was present very far from that river. The Tevaras. The Tevaras is a kind of tribe. And he did not understand one word of Tegumai's language. So this is a different tribe of that man. This is why they didn't understand any single word from the, the language of uh, Tegumai or Taffy. He stood on the bank and smiled at Taffy because he had a little girl daughter of his own at home. He had a little girl daughter. Same as Taffy. Tegumai drew a hank of deer sinews from his mendy bag and began to mend his spear. A hank means a coil of, red, uh, of deer sinews from his mendy bag and began to mend his spear. So he was mending that spear. And at that time, Taffy tells to that man, Come here, said Taffy. Do you know where my mummy lives? And the stranger man said, mm. Now the stranger man is thinking mm, like this way because he didn't understand any single word from Taffy's words. Silly, said Taffy. Means that man was behaving in this way. This is why Taffy is telling silly. And she stamped her food. Stamped means she uh, she uh, tapped her foot downside foot because she saw a shoal of a very big carp 
going up the river just just when her daddy couldn't use his spear silly this thing she is telling because she is expressing her uh, frustration because she saw shoal means a group of fish group of fish she saw a very big carp carp fishes going up the river just when her daddy couldn't use his spear she saw fishes but her daddy was not able to kill any fish or hunt any fish this is why she said silly and she said she tapped her foot and this is how this part was if you have any doubts you can ask any time thank you so much take care